I know you said we're rushing to a business meeting, but you never told us what exactly business meeting we're talking about. I don't even know who we are about to meet. Do I need to pull out my rifle? Are we meeting the mob? Tell me, bro, don't let me find out on the spot. Joe, we're not meeting any mob chill out. You're going to love him. He's an old Russian friend of mine that told me he has a job for us to steal some cars. I didn't get too much out of what he was saying on the phone. I guess we'll find out more right now. Old Russian friend of yours? That sounds like a mob to me anyways. Where do we meet him? Hopefully not under a bridge somewhere. We're meeting him here at this dealership that he owns. Oh, don't tell me he's that weird guy waiting at the door. Obama just smile and wave back at him. Um, that's actually him. Okay, come on, let's go. This is getting awkward. Oh my, hello, Simeon. Haven't seen you in so long. How are you doing? Oh, my dear friend, Donald Trump. Haven't seen you in a while. What are you doing? I see that you brought some companion with you anyways. Me wants you to do some business together. I have some ideas that you can't deny. Hi, Simeon, tell me. What ideas exactly do you have for us? As far as I understood from the phone, you were talking something about stealing supercars. Exactly. Mr. Simeon likes to work with smart people, so that's why I chose you. All you have to do is to go to the coordinates I tell you to go at, steal some supercars from these billionaires, then come back with the car as intact as possible to me so I can pay you, huh? How does that sound? Well, uh, that sounds great, I guess. Then give us the coordinates and we will come back as soon as possible with the car you need. Perfectly. But before we get to work, me needs some assistant who wants to help you guys out while me and him are sitting here on the computer, making sure everything goes as planned. One, two, one, two, do you guys hear me? Is the radio working? Biden, how come out of all of us? Obama is the one that stayed at the dealership with Simeon, and I got left with you trying to rob mansions and steal cars. Oh my, this is going to be fun. Idiot, in case you didn't know, I can hear you. All right, boys, be very careful. The house that you are at right now is one of the houses the mayor has. Watch out for the cameras that are right next by the gate. Try to sneak in without being noticed by them. Then go ahead in the house and kill the security guard that is there. The maid, you can leave her alone, maybe give her a hundred bucks because I feel bad. Then grab the keys and steal that beautiful car and bring it to me. And, uh, almost forgot. Do all of this without notifying the police. That is a big no-no. All right, we got it. Don't worry, I'm in. Trump, you go ahead and do whatever Simeon just said. I'm going to stay outside and be on the lookout in case anybody arrives here out of nowhere so I can take care of them. And come on, let's move fast. I don't think we have too much time on our hands. Shut up, Biden. Wow. This car is truly beautiful. I'm wondering how much did it cost the time, to... boys. The time. We're running out of time. This operation of subtracting the car needs to be done fast. Okay, bro, we got it. I'm inside the house and I, I think I can see the guard standing there. Oh shit, hopefully he doesn't see me either. I think what I'm gonna do is to slice him up really good. I don't think I wanna use a pistol since the gunshot would alert everybody that's around, but I don't know how can I stab him without him seeing me first. Uh, I guess I'll have to do it the old way. Ah! Come here, idiot, take this and stay down. Oh, shit. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have yelled. Congrats, idiot. You alerted the whole neighborhood, you dumbass. Can't do shit right for once, bro. Nice, Trump. One thing Simeon said to not do, and we did it. Now have fun escaping the police in this high-profile car. You guys are imbeciles. What have I told you earlier? Now do your best and escape the police without scratching my car, all right? We want to keep it as intact as possible. Good car equal good money. Bro, I can't stand this piece of shit. Who does he think he's talking to? Oh, but these words hurt my feelings, Mr. Biden. Just so you know, your microphone is working at all times. Next time, why don't you say that to my face? And let's have business properly. Get me my car, and you get your money. Dang it, bro, we get it. You're going to have your car. What did you expect? To break into somebody's house and steal his car without involving the police? What you can do is to say thank you because I'm the best driver in the world. Otherwise, this car would have been a complete wreck by now. Donald, what are you doing, bitch? This is the dealership. Don't bring the police here. I'm not. Just quit yapping and tell me when they are gone. It seems that the police are no longer searching for you guys. They gave up. Bring the car to the dealership. We're going to wait for you outside. This was one of the easiest shits I've ever done. I don't know why Simeon had to panic so much. If you're hearing this, prepare the paycheck, Brody. I'm not trying to wait too long for it. And if it's anything less than one million, this car goes straight into your dealership. And by that, I mean through the wall of it. Oh, thank you very much, Trump, for your delivery. You were in fact right. This was very easy. Come on, I know you heard me. Where is the money now? What? Oh, if you said something on the radio, my ears didn't hear it because I didn't have the earphones on. Come on, idiot, stop messing around. I know you heard me. Where is my money? Don't make me blow this shit up. Oh, but I think we have a little bit of misunderstanding. This was only one of the three cars I want you to get me today. And by my immaculate math, I estimate that we have two more to go. But don't worry, the next one is very easy, difficult to get. 
And by that, I mean that it's very easy to get in, but I don't know how you could get out, but that's why I hired you, right? Oh, wow, Donald, this house is beautiful. A house right on the golf field, man. Why I haven't thought about building this shit before. That's it, when I get home, the first thing I do is to write a donation to Ukraine so I can launder some money to build a mansion on my golfing field. All right, whatever, bro. Simeon, tell me about the car. What am I about to steal? Simeon is at the toilet right now, but he told me it's a blue Koenigsegg car. You have it in the parking lot sitting on a ramp. You'll have to take out two guards. You choose the method. Since there are plenty of people here, whatever you do, you will get noticed. Just do it fast, and hopefully the police won't show up in time. Oh, dang, Obama, I forgot you existed for a second. I'm going to stay outside like I did the first time. Maybe shoot a couple of pricks that try to act like Batman and save the day. Okay, let me look around. If I pull out my pistol, nobody's going to say shit, right? Well, that's obvious since we're in America, but I think I have a better option than shooting them. An axe straight in their skull would do it. They are shocked anyways. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Here it goes, one. Ah, Obama, where is the next one? Give me instructions, bro. Hello? Um, I don't know, idiot. I'm not there to tell you. All I know is that he's sitting Hello, next sir, to the Hello, sir, I'm Donald lot. Trump, Just and you're about to get murdered. Just already, bro. The police has been called. I interfered calls to 911 with your location. Figured it out on my own. Don't need your help, bitch. Okay, let's see. This is the car. Now guide me to get out of here. I just murdered two security guards with an ax. This is by itself around 40 years in jail. Wait, Donald, where are you going? You're leaving me alone? Hey, bro, come back and pick me up too. What is wrong with you? Oh shit, I almost forgot my bad, bro. I'm coming right now. My goodness, what are you guys doing? I go to toilet and come back to you guys being chased by police. Be careful with the car, since this is a one of 100 top vehicle. Very expensive and rare. I want to see it as it got out of showroom when it got bought. So please be careful with it. Can't tolerate any scratches on this one. Don't even worry about it. I'm driving it very carefully, despite the fact that I might be going 200 miles per hour right now. Yo, Trump, you should slow down. You don't want to crash watch the car, out. bro. What was that sound? Nothing. Uh, that was nothing. Biden gets a little bit scared at high speeds, that's all. We just found where to hide from the police. Let us know when they are no longer looking for us. Donnie, next time, don't attempt to do a front flip with a car while we are floating in the air at speeds over 300 miles per hour. Thank you. Doing what? Everybody be quiet. The police just passed by, but they didn't see us. We need to not make any noise in order to not get caught. And don't believe what Joe is saying. He likes to joke around. Oh shit, I forgot they can hear us. You have clear way, Donald. You can now come back to the dealership. Simeon said he has one more car for us to steal, then he's going to pay us. And between us three, come faster, bro. I'm starting to hate this place. All right, Donald, let's not try to do a stunt again, please. I still want to be there to candidate for the next election as much as you do. And I don't know if I asked you, but what is the payment we're going to get from stealing these supercars? If it's anything under a couple of millions, I'm going to put Lil Bro out of business by sending the IRS at his doorstep first thing tomorrow morning. I don't know, Biden, if I knew I would have told you. But when I asked him, he didn't want to respond to the question. I'll ask him one more time. Yeah, you do that. I'm going to stay my ass in the car. I don't even want to see his face anymore. Yoo-hoo! Look, Simeon, they arrived. Ah, oh, man, and the car looks beautiful, too. Barely scratched in the back, but that's about it. Yep, hello, guys. Come on, bro. Give me the location of that last car and let's go. And oh, what about the money? When will I get the money and how much will I get? You still didn't tell me. First of all, this is not how business works with Mr. Simeon. You finish the tasks I give you. And after that, you receive money. And as far as this last car goes, it's on the mountain. So you will need a pretty good stable vehicle to get there. I'll tell you what you guys made today after we're done. Take a close look at the view. You will have a Rolls Royce next to a one out of one Ferrari. I don't care about the Rolls Royce. I can get 10 if I want right now and wipe my ass with them. But that Ferrari, that Ferrari, it's one of a kind. All you have to do is to eliminate the security guards with a sniper from a distance, then drive there slowly and steal the car for me. Watch out when you get down from the mountain. I don't want you to crash the car and come with it destroyed like you did with this last one. Dang, bro, does this radio have a mute button or something? I got it. Don't worry, you're talking to a professional. All it's going to take are two bullets. One for this prick over here. And before he knows what happened, one for this one right here. All right, target's killed. It seems like the police were called by someone in the mansion, and that means that they noticed the guards that were eliminated due to the fact that we are uh, in a I rush right now. I think you missed right the parking lot. You'll have to take the fastest way down from this mountain. I put my trust in your skills, Trump. And that's anyway the best thing you could do. So he said to leave the rolls alone and steal the Ferrari. I got to say, you got an expensive taste, Simeon. Now for the ones that called the police, I have a gift for y'all since Christmas just passed. Why don't you guys take this grenade and hold it for me while I steal this thing? Come on, Joe, let's get out of here. 
Close your eyes so this time you don't scream like a little girl. Like a little girl? All right, go ahead and do a triple backflip and I will not show a single emotion to show you what a real man looks like. If I ever want to see a real man, I'm not going to look at you, little bro, but at Michelle. So you're back at doing, you know what, I forgot. I don't even care anymore, boo-hoo. That's a bad joke anyways. Try to focus on driving Buddy instead of making jokes. We want that car in one piece. You see, what did I tell you? Did I scream this time? No, you bitch. The only one screaming is you inside because you know I'm a greater man than you are. If I want to make you scream, trust me, I will. You're one left hook away from catching a sweet nap. So don't try me, you degenerate. Come on, boys. Simeon doesn't like arguing during business. Let's keep it as peaceful as we can, huh? How about that? Okay, just keep going forward. Somewhere around you'll have an entrance that will get you down in the drain. There you can go ahead and find a bridge under where you can hide until the police is no longer on your ass. An entrance that gets in the blah 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 whatever bro, watch this. Hey! Why do I hear screaming? What are you two fools doing with my car? I told you to bring it back without a scratch on it. Listen here you racist. Either you bring to me the car without harming it, or otherwise your paycheck is no longer available, huh? Do you want to play like that? No, he doesn't. Trump, you don't want to Did play like that. Did this idiot just, just say that I'm racist? So we can give what this the... man the Ferrari. Get our money and leave. I had enough. All right, listen here, Simeon. I don't know who do you think you're talking to, but you're definitely not talking to me like that. I haven't heard somebody telling me that I'm racist ever since the last presidential debate I had with Joe in 2020. Yeah, that was crazy, not gonna lie. And what are you going to do about it? I tell you what, nothing. I did boxing when I was a kid, so come and try me face to face if you have something to say against me. Also, you can say bye-bye to the money you wanted to receive. If anything, I will give it to my boy Obama over here that worked very hard. Stay there, bitch. I'm on my way. I'd say to calm down, both of you. Let's chill out, okay? Violence is not the key. Only if you gain oil out of it. Let's finish the deal and get our money so he can get his car in peace. What about that? How dumb are you? Did you hear him? He just made me dumb. Okay, that was enough, Biden. Prepare that phone call to send the IRS at this thug doorstep tomorrow in the morning, as you said. Until then, I'll fold him up real quick. Come on.